two or more atoms come together and they form compounds and molecules. The students in Miss Sandoval's eighth grade science class, well, think their teacher is the coolest. I was pretty shocked. I've never had a teacher like that. I was like super amazed. It probably has the benzene ring as part of the bigger molecule. They love her lectures, but may be more intrigued by her weekend hobby. You guys don't understand, I'm so excited. Their science teacher gets behind the wheel of a race car on Saturday nights. My mom used to race motocross, so that was normal to me, going fast. My dad enduros for years and years, so I really don't know any better. I wouldn't necessarily, if I just saw her on the street, think, oh, she races cars, you know. But, you know, it's definitely a cool thing to know. A role model in the classroom, but also on the dirt track. It made me realize that girls or men aren't the only people who can race cars. Teaching about things like speed, acceleration, all of this, she has first-hand experience. She's always talking about her cars, and I've, I've seen videos like of her racing, so she's a pretty good driver. I do the dress and heels Monday through Friday, yeah. but I do the helmet and boots and dirt Saturday and Sunday. So her students think she's the coolest. Does the teacher think she's pretty cool? I hear some of them say yes. Uh, what I would really hope is that they think I can be like her, not what I'm expected to be. You know, I'm a teacher, so I'm expected to you know, do this and I do that. A science teacher by day, but as she learned the exact science to driving a race car. The science behind it is setting up your car is a whole bunch, like the geometry of it, and you set it up for the turn. So it's just, it's these little things that I think all the guys know and I'm picking up on. So what's tougher, teaching a classroom full of kids or driving a race car? Well, I do teach eighth grade. They can be intimidating, 36 of them at a time. Uh, that's a good question because that's, that's a tough one. During the week I deal with the 8th graders and on the weekends the boys out here. So I guess it's non-stop for me.